Hello, welcome. Welcome back if you're a current subscriber. Welcome if you're new. So we're going to go through this week's empties and unempties. I think I'm going to do it all in one because I have more vendor than Scentsy. So we're going to start with Scentsy though, okay? So oh, we'll just start with this one. Quiver. So this one is vanilla flower sandalwood and tuberose. This is a very perfumey, elegant scent. I really enjoy this when this first came back and bring back my bar. Looks like I got this in January 2023, so it must have been. I think last year they extended it. So anyway, I really enjoy that. It's in my club. Another one that's in my club is Breakfast in Bed. This is warm pastry or pumpkin pastry filled with black raspberry and topped with sweet cinnamon drizzle. Mm, so good. So I did two of Best in Snow upstairs here. And this is a good one. Let's see. This is... Frosted Evergreen Cool Mint Pure Icy Air. I enjoyed this. I don't think I would repurchase that. And that is Best in Snow. Snow Place Like Home. I worked on this in my husband's bathroom and laundry room. It was good. Let's see. I think I did. Yes. Literally every day, all day. I'm like the biggest klutz. Two Slay All Day I did in my open concept. I don't have the scent notes on this one. This one was just okay. All right, two of baked apple pie. Again, I did this because this is gonna be back, or it's still in, gonna be in the spring summer catalog. It's flaky crust, apples and spices. I don't think this is strong. It says combined in a strong scent. I don't think it's strong. I don't, for me, this is just a basic apple pie, but I also am not the biggest fan of apple pie scents. This is just my opinion. Okay, let's see. I finished around the campfire. I did this in my husband's bathroom in the laundry room. This one is fresh fallen wood and smoky embers. This is definitely a smoky fireplace scent. This one will make it feel like someone, something's burning in the house. Welcome home. Again, you guys know I'm working through warming items in the catalog. This is warm and welcoming cinnamon and spices. You know what? This was surprising. I didn't mind this as much as I thought I would on cold. I smelt a very heavy cinnamon, but it did very well at my husband's laundry room and bathroom, and I actually didn't mind it as much as I thought. So there you go. I did this in my husband's bathroom. It's white, amber, and silk. I didn't finish this one. This is the only one I didn't empty. This is okay. I think this one is still going to be in the spring-summer catalog, I believe. Um, I mean, this will take me a while to get through, so... I'll just go from there after that. I took two of Wild for Fall out of the Scentsy plug-in diffu pod diffuser, whatever they're called. I have this in my dining room by the dog and those were done. I couldn't smell those. And then I stuck in, because I had one left. <laughs> I had one left of farm stand pumpkin and one left of pumpkin roll. So I put those in that same diffuser. I feel like a hot mess today. Okay. Then I did two of the dollar store cotton balls and my favorite jumbo cotton balls from Walmart. One, two, three, four, five of those. Okay, so candles in the last couple weeks. Now, I didn't start all of these in the last couple weeks. These are just what I finished. Um, I did Homeworks, peanut butter, and raspberry jam. This one is peanut butter, raspberry jam, caramelized sugar, vanilla bean. Now, I did burn this to the halfway point. Then I stuck it in the freezer, cut it up, and put it in my, um, cut it up. Then I melted it and made wax melts. This w did way better as wax melts than it did burning. This is a great peanut butter and jelly scent. Let me know if you've tried Goose Creek, I know Goose Creek has one out, but that's a grape one, but I'm still tempted to order it. I do really like this peanut butter and jelly. I love peanut butter and jelly scents. Speaking of which, I finished PB&J ice cream um, from Bath & Body. So I did the same thing. I burned this one halfway, then I took it out, cut it, and made um, wax melts with it. This is my favorite, I think. I have like eight more of those and I'm not sad about it. I finished pumpkin cinnamon bun. This one, you can see where I burned it down to. And then I stuck it in the candle crock for a week. It was a light performer, and this one, I don't remember how old this is. This is probably, oh, this was just not this winter, the winter before. And that is where this one is from, too. Tis the night before Christmas. 
This one was a good performer. I did this in my candle crack actually for a whole week. Santa's Fresh Baked Cookies, warm mug of milk with a dash of cinnamon and nutmeg. Oops. I like the pumpkin cinnamon bun more than Tis the Night Before Christmas, but they were good. And then I did iced lemon pound cake. I burned, I used this in my candle crock, so that's why you see other colored wax. I burned this halfway and then I crocked the rest of it for, this one was in there probably, it was under my lamp. So this one was under my lamp. Those were crocked, this was my lamp. So this one was a week and I, every time I woke up I could smell this iced lemon pound cake. This was really good. I've got quite the mess over here. Okay, and I don't really want this mic to be picking up all this crinkling because it might. Okay, Britta's Creepy Treasure. I finished Ozark Forest Fire Roasted Marshmallow Sugar Cookie Dough Palo. Oh my gosh, this is so good. It was very earthy, woody, outdoor scent. I would repurchase that, but not right now because I'm trying to finish what I have. Um, Exorcist. This is the best palo patchouli or is it patchouli i can't remember the set notes because i got a very big i think she calls them walker loaves it's like the head and i cut it up and put it in two bags this one doesn't have the sticker or the scent notes this was fantastic for like two days in my warmers in my bedroom okay so k's here i have beach nights um this was gifted to me from Michelle W or Michelle M. This is Beach Nights. This was really good. I did this the last two evenings. I started it and then I put it in my candle crock. This is a very good Beach Nights. We Three Kings was very light. This was from 2022. This is Marshmallow Fireside Blue Sugar Palo. I did this in my candle crock in my bedroom and it was very light. Peppermint pine cones was very strong. This is peppermint candy, pine cones, and Twinkies. To me, this is just a minty. It's very mint heavy. So for me, I wouldn't repurchase this one because it's just too much mint. It was good. It, that one was a great performer. I finished Strawberry Pound Cake, Serendipity Boom Boom. This was from July of 2022. That was that one was light in my bedroom bathroom, but this one was a powerhouse. This is Dune Grass, Sea Salt, Mahogany, Teakwood. This was very good, and I look forward to continuing to warm that one. I did one of these Party Light Ocean Mist. This is so old, you guys. I think this is one, like, look at how old these are. I This was my favorite scent from Party Light, and I wanted to warm it because I wanted to see if I had anything similar. I stuck this in one of my hot, hot plate warmers. I really love this. I'm trying to find something that is similar to that. Okay. In my studio here, I did pumpkin marshmallow uh, cream from Sensationals. This was not overly strong, but it was a good scent. I did raspberry thumbprint cookie from Rocky Top Waxworks. This is very strong for this cute little shot here. She does these in the little sample shots. Great way to try a scent. Her wax performs so well. Okay, candles by Victoria. Very merry on birthday. I think this has a floral note. And I did not care for this. A very merry on birthday. Waffle cone. I did this with another waffle cone. You'll see I love her waffle cone. Uh, French crumb cake. I just didn't enjoy that one, but it was a strong performer. Oh, here's the second waffle cone. Uh, I did Super Tarts Blackberry with Sage Blackberry Palo Santo because I wanted to finish these. Strong performer, like three days upstairs. It was so good. I wouldn't repurchase those, but it was good. And Rocky Horror, which is white pumpkin, sea salt, teakwood, fern, lilac, agave. This is really good. Earthy, clean scent. Kind of like a nice masculine man standing outside. I don't love that scent, but I, it was a strong performer for, I think, usually I change the wax upstairs here every couple days. So that's usually what I do. Monday, I'll put in new stuff, and then usually by Tuesday, Wednesday, I'll change it. And that's just how it goes. Okay. And then Salt Mountain, the Lodge. This is very good. This was gifted to me from Carly B. I did enjoy this. I'll enjoy warming the rest of this. And then Haunted Bake Shop, I did upstairs here. This was very good and performed very well. I think this was from, yep, July of 2022. And I'm throwing all of these in a box over here because I am going to take them out of my wax collection. I got my computer back. So, yeah. All right. Uh, Zape. 
Trim the Tree, which is a favorite of mine. This is Freshly Fallen Snow Christmas Pine Buttery Popcorn Garland. Diane um, gifted me, you guys saw a video I did, um, and she sent me some of this from Zape. I love it. I also did One Morning Red Cup Season, which is another favorite of mine. It's Espresso Peppermint Mocha Uggs and Leggings. It's like you have a peppermint mocha. I have shared that I used to do get a peppermint mocha and go shopping with my sister and my friend, so I love that scent very much. So the Melted Mousse, I'm working on some of my older wax because this was from March of 2022. Key Lime Pie, oh my gosh, that was such a strong performer. Maple Rolls, this is a favorite of mine. This is, again, from the same time, Honey Butter Rolls and Glazed Maple. If you love maple, this is so good. And then I did, what's that, Sarcasm? It's Volcano Ice Pineapple and Fizzy Pop. This was going, I just took it out on Sunday and I put it in on Wednesday. This was so, so strong. Oh my gosh, it was so good. I want to order from the Melted Mousse again, so I'm trying to work on some of the other stuff I have. Okay, from Rose Girl. Well, hang on, I'll do this one first. Fresh Fall Breeze from Slanky. This was a pear scent. Oh, it was so, so good. Okay, Rose Girls, The Hidden Graveyard, Crunchy Leaves, Campfire Marshmallow, Amber Patchouli, Vetiver. I did this in the boys' bathroom. It was a sample. I don't like that, but it was a very good performer. Strawberry Pound Cake was gifted to me from Summer. This um, was great upstairs. I did a lot of these upstairs. Um, carbs and Cotton Candy Cookie Land. Actually, I did this one downstairs. This was great, but not the strongest performer in that one. Um... Upstairs, I did Speechless in Sweater Weather. I would repurchase this again. It was so good. It was so strong. And I just put in Pineapple Upside Down Cake Whipped Cream. And this was gifted to me from Tara. And we'll see how that one does. I just put it in. And then last night, I put in Circus Concession. When I got back from shopping at Sassy Girl with April, because this is just a favorite of mine. I got through so much, you all. Wait, we're not even done yet. Uh, no. Okay, so let's do scoopable wax melts. This is carbs. I, this is a favorite bakery of mine. Dunk My Donuts, Royal Sugar Cookie, Fresh Baked Bread. Oh my gosh. I did that downstairs and it was so good. And then I have three cakes, which is yellow cake, birthday cake, cupcakes at Tiffany's. I don't like this uh, three cakes blend. That's just me, but I... I don't know something in it I'm just not enjoying um, I did like it blended with things though this is strawberry pound cake three cakes this was very good and then I did these two together because I didn't have enough upstairs so this is uh, strawberry pound cake type and then I mixed it with a strawberry pound cake three cakes and that was very good so I do like the three cakes but I like it blended with something else okay L3 I did Mac apple Caramel Funnel Cake. I would repurchase this, but I'm not going to repurchase anything yet from L3. I'm really trying to work on only purchasing from a few vendors this year in 2024. Cider Lane Hufflepuff. I would repurchase that. with was such a great performer upstairs. I finished a loaf of today is October 3rd. I did this for like a week. I put some in my warmer and then when I couldn't smell it, I'd take it out, put it back in my warmer at night. This was fabulous. That's a favorite scent of mine. I do need more of that. Um, in my studio here, I did Night at the Carnival, which is kettle corn, cupcakes at Tiffany's, vanilla, butter, fudge, zucchini bread. That was very good. And this is Krampus Hooves, smoked from the black flame candle, blue sugar sweater weather. Jason gifted me this. This was very good. I think that was Jason, right? Yeah, I believe so. Okay. And then... I did Southbound Berry Sweet. This was very good. This was Animal Crackers topped with Sweet Berry Jam and Cotton Candy. It was so yummy. And then I did Candy Bag. These I did upstairs here. Caramel, Candy Apples, Candy Corn, and Vanilla Waffle Crisp. That was very good. Uh, another one I finished. Um, let's see. This was gifted to me from Tara. It's from Fantasy Wax Melts Waffle Cone. This is what I added to Candles by Victoria. So thank you for sending me that. I did Vintage Road Candle Melts. I don't know if this one is vendor is open. This was Back Porch. It's Country Lemonade, Cotton Candy, Ice Lemon, Cookies. That was very good. I did that in my laundry room. Ava's or Traverse Now Haunted House. I finished this in my, for, in my laundry room. Glitterottery Pumpkin Peanut Brittle. This was very good. I mixed that with the one from Southbound. 
I did in my studio here, Harper James Santa's Bake Shop, which is fresh baked bread, gingerbread, nutmeg, caramel, maple. This was very good. I finished from Lourdes Apothecary Lemon Square, which is lemon curd, pie crust, and sugar. This was my favorite lemon. I, I mean... Literally, what is wrong with me today? This is my favorite. I don't know if you guys know if you've had this before and you or you have a favorite lemon. Let me know because I would like to get more of something like that. This is um that Smell Good Shop, the Spiteful Mermaid of Pyramid Lake Zucchini Brickle Maple Glazed Apple. This was gifted to me from Summer, so thank you. That was very good. Okay, Anthony's Cabin. This is Birch Leaves citrus peel pine cones white florals vetiver sandalwood and wood mm, this smells like something else i've had when i warmed this i'm trying to pinpoint what it is but this is a great outdoorsy winter scent i loved that oh my gosh okay and then i finished little pumpkin beach party which is beach nice pumpkin cupcakes and marshmallow fluff that was very good i have one more souffle of that and actually, April just gifted me a souffle because she didn't like it. And I love that scent. I'm just a big Beach Nights fan. Uh, Trickin' and Treating, which is purple sugar, which is pink and blue sugar, beach treats or beach nights, and vanilla cake pops. Oh, I would love to have more of this. This was from 2021 when I first started buying. So I started buying from Teddy Bees three years ago. Oh, my gosh. This one was from 2022, Christmas Trees and Cream and Crushed Candy Canes. There was only one more warm. I did that at night, and it was so good tree farm i did this in my open concept this was so strong again that's the crazy thing sometimes you get scents that are like more light medium and then this one was so strong it's frost covered christmas trees standing in rows as far as the eye can see and the smell of tilled earth like dirt this is fantastic i need to ask her for this or look for this because this reminds me of going to the tree farm to cut our tree down. Oh my gosh, I need more of this. I forgot how amazing this is. I was hoarding this, but I'm like, stop it. I have a tiny piece in here so I can remember what it smells like until I get it. I Heart Vanilla Beach Treats. I wish I could find this. So this is Beach Nights with her I Heart Vanilla. I Maybe I'll ask somebody to swap, like, do you have tree farm or these two? <laughs> or Anthony's Cabin. Um, but I am going to literally, it's this week because I'm off until Thursday. I worked all of last week nights. Now this weekend I work all day shift. So I'm going to work on doing that this week because I just need to whittle my stash down and only keep things I love. Silent night. Sorry I've had caffeine. It's Sunday afternoon. Um, I didn't, when I worked nights all this week, I get into this crazy pattern that I can't sleep well. So Thursday I didn't fall asleep. I worked Thursday night. I didn't fall asleep till 10 a.m. because I had a really, really bad night. It was a very scary, very scary situation, but uh, the nurse and I handled it and everything turned out, but it was pretty alarming. <laughs> and I had a one-on-one -on -one patient, but we were still dealing with a pretty, a big issue that had to be helped, that we had to help with, with a patient. So anyway, I could not fall asleep till 10 a.m. on Friday because I was, my brain was just going crazy and all, and all this stuff that I have to deal with now because of that. Um, but so then Friday night I, I, or I slept till three when my son got off the bus and then Friday night I couldn't fall asleep till three and then I did my nails cause I couldn't fall asleep. And then yesterday when I went to Sassy Girl and then I couldn't fall asleep last night till 3am because you get into the cycle where you're used to staying up because you're working nights, right? So today I slept until like 11, which is crazy cause I don't usually do that, but I literally needed sleep. So I just, Yeah. And then I got up and listened to Pastor Greg Laurie and his message today. And so I just need to focus on the things that really matter. I'm sure a lot of you can relate to that. It's easy to get pulled into um, groups of people and, and engage in conversation that you're not comfortable with or be part of it, even though you're not engaging. And I just don't, I don't want to do that anymore. I'm here to talk about wax and have fun. And if people want to be kind and engage with me, then I'm all for that. But I just, I don't want to deal with anything else. I, my life, it, I'm trying to focus on being better myself and not being pulled back into things that are not good for any person involved. That's my little life update rant, crazy week. Finally got some sleep. Now back to wax. Okay. Teddy B. Silent Night. Paulo Santo. Signature sugar cookies and beach nights because it has beach nights. You knew I was going to love it. 
Uh, it's amazing. I would definitely love more of this. So good. I don't, I don't remember. Oops. I don't remember if that was in the pre-order. I don't even know. Okay. But once that's gone, it's gone. So I, I, once I was working on that, I was like, okay, pull out another scent. The North. This is vanilla bean, Palo marshmallow fireside, and a hint of, um, smoking firewood. Now, Yesterday, April and I were at Sassy Girl and she was like, oh, I kind of like this scent. And it was, I can't remember, you'll see in the video because it was kind of like a shop with us video. Um, I said, but you just have to stay away from marshmallow fireside. Stay towards a creamier marshmallow light, but just stay away from marshmallow fireside or the smoldering, smoldering firewood. Because this definitely smells like something is burning, kind of like senses around the campfire. It's just a very smoky scent. I, this is okay. I know a lot of you love this. It's just not the a love, but I would definitely buy Silent Night again. I don't think I would get the North again. Let's do some lavender and speckles that I finished. I did Beach Nights and Palo Santo. This was really good in my bedroom at night. What I will say is it needs more Beach Nights. This is very heavy Palo, which is fine. I know Palo Santo can overtake that. Strawberry Birch. This is good. This is one of my original purchases. You can see by the bag and the label. This is sugar cookie. Sweet strawberry crackling birch. This was very strong in my open concept for that just little bag. Pink cashmere. I did this in my studio here. This was gifted to me from summer. Sweet strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, sponge sugar, amber and moss. This was really good. I would repurchase that one. Raspberry custard tart. This is warming now in my studio. This is one of my original orders. It was from December of, was this 2022 that I ordered? Yes. This is good. Melted butter, orange zest, ripe strawberries, brown sugar, creamy custard, and vanilla. Now this raspberry is not the same as raspberry jam. It's definitely more tart, but it, it's very good going in here. Birch wood and buttercream. Crisp birch wood blended with sweet, decadent scent of buttercream. This is good. I love this one. I really enjoyed warming this in my studio here. And this one I did in my bedroom. It's date night. It's black cherries. French Merlot, Apple Blossom, Coconut Milk, and Jasmine, Cashmere, and Sponge Sugar. I can't remember if Beth, I don't remember what I asked her. I just said, this is amazing. It's so unique, Warren. This would, I don't even know how I picked this out. This must have been a wild card, or did she send this to me? I don't remember. I'd have to go back and watch my haul, and I'm not going to do that. Or check my receipt. But you guys, I would definitely repurchase this. I think I asked her she'll bring this back. This is so unique. It's like a fancy lady bedroom scent. Oh my gosh. Okay, next. One of my top, top vendors besides Lavender and Speckles and Teddy Bees. Okay, so I did Santa's Royale, which is Apollo blend in the Squeezable. I was really sad to finish this. I really liked these when she did them. Um, I have one more of those left, like in a different scent. Summer gifted me the Oath. I really enjoyed this. This was Toasted Marshmallow Sea Salt s'mores toasted pine cone so this is beach nice with pine cones i want to purchase more of that i don't think i have more so thank you for gifting me that um this was gifted to me from april this is hustler warm leather recliner sitting by the fireplace deep amber woods and aged brandy if you like like a leather bookshelf kind of scent or like you're sitting in a fancy chair in a library this is very good i have been doing this in my husband's bathroom and it's such a strong performer I wouldn't repurchase that, but I don't mind using it in that space. Okay, I think, okay, this one I did in my uh, bedroom cat scratch fever. It's peppermint sinus relief. I was sick a couple weeks ago, and I finished that whole thing, like, throughout the whole week. It was so good in my bedroom. House of Cider. This is juicy apples, honey with warm spices such as cinnamon, nutmeg, and clove with warm base of sandalwood, tonka, and vanilla. I would repurchase that once I dwindle my sassy girl stash down open water this one is raspberry lime salty sea or sweet lavender cotton candy marshmallow oh my gosh i would repurchase that it was so good like a g6 is caramel vanilla pound cake cornbread muffins this was very good i think i purchased this one actually i know i did in the store um so that is everything that was a long video thank you if you watched all of it i am going to record my sassy girl aroma haul now that because yesterday we went shopping and i P did pick up order so I had orders from October in there so it's quite large and I I didn't buy that much in the store I think I bought three brittles and some shapes um, and then last night when I got home when you watch my video I did place an order last night online because the candle that she had was at Angel's Touch 
was amazing. And I was like, after we left the store, I'm like, I should have just bought the darn candle. But then I went online and she had it in perfume, the candle and wax melts. So I bought it in all of it because it, it's so grown up like bedrooms. And I don't even know how to describe it. It is so good. I cannot wait to get it. And actually I, I'm going to have that order ship because I want it like ASAP. I want the candle. I want the wax. I want the perfume. I'm like super excited about that. So anyway, thank you for watching, commenting, subscribing. I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day. Bye.